Hi everybody. I am back for chair class number five. I think five or just six, something like that. Um, once again, thank you for all your donations. Uh, I hope you're having fun. We're gonna be a little more difficult today. So I have some weights and I have a rubber band. Um, you can use nothing if you want. You can just do your arms, it's plenty of weight. Um, and you can do these without a rubber band as long as you're using your muscles. Just make sure nothing hurts, that you're breathing. So we're gonna start standing with a breathing exercise. Okay, so we're gonna start here, put your feet right under your hips. And today I took off my shoes. So if you want a little bit more challenge, it's your feet muscles get a little bit more work when they have those shoes on them. Okay, so all 10 toes are forward. Stack your pelvis, right? So if you know that you stand like this, you wanna kind of correct that, right? So you're straight and feet are flat. We're gonna lift all 10 toes up off the floor and then we're gonna grab the floor with your toes and squeeze. And if you're in shoes, you can do the exact same thing. Toes down and squeeze. So we're getting all the feet muscles active and down and squeeze. And up. And down, and squeeze. Let's do one more. Breathe, and down, and squeeze. We're gonna lift up your left heel, and watch that you let your ankle drop to the side. You feel that ankle stretch. Now we're gonna do some circles around the ankle. Shoulders are relaxed, abdominals engaged, hips are nice and straight. Let's reverse that direction, and around. Three more here, and one, and two, and three. Okay, now, this is gonna be a little weird. You're gonna pick the foot up, tuck your toes under, and kind of press down. So you're stretching this part of your foot out here. Okay, and just hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, switch feet. We're gonna come up onto the ball of your foot. Right, once again, don't let it collapse. Big toe, little toe. And we're gonna do some circles around. Feel that nice motion in the ankle. Two more. And reverse it. And around. And around. Three. And four. And six. Put that foot down. And let's shift your weight to the balls of your feet and just kind of get a sense of where your balance is. Good, nice and easy. And then put the heels down. All right, let's do that a few more times. So up on the balls of your feet, if you feel you can go higher, and then down. And you can use your chair. I'm standing in front of the chair just so you can see me a little bit better, but you can use your counter or a chair on one side of you or the other side of you. Let's do two more. Up. And down. And last one, up, and down. Let's take a big breath in, and exhale. One more here, and then we're gonna walk the arms, warming up the back, and down. Take the left arm up overhead, stretch, and switch, and stretch. But as you're doing this, watch your back that we're not sloppy, okay? Stay nice and still. Arms are nice and long. You should feel that through here. And switch. And switch. And switch. Switch and hold it. Hold. Let's go over to the side. Think of lifting up out of the body. Stretch. Careful you don't let go. You want to lift abdominals. Reach down the side of your leg. Watch if the hips don't sway over. Stay straight. And we're gonna cartwheel, come back around, and over to the other side. Lift the arm, and then stretch out of that right side of your body. And breathe, feel that stretch, breathe into the stretch. And let's cartwheel back to center. And again, other side, stretch, stretch, stretch. And hold. And let's inhale, and exhale.
we're gonna bring it back up all the way to the arms here. And we're gonna slide and slide and slide and slide. So we got a lot of things active here. Your abdominals are working to keep that pelvis stable. Arms are working, shoulders are down. Your obliques are working and we're sliding just like you're trying to hit the wall. Hit the wall. Good, hit the wall. And one more to each side. Okay, let's take the arms, cross hug your body and open. Okay, now I want you to just relax the body a little bit. Let it kind of sway. Good, front and back. Front. Two more. And last one. Good. Bring your arms down to the side. Now we're going to bring them up overhead. Let them come back and swing. I'm going to add a little bit of a bend here. Down. And up. Yeah. And up. Tummy nice and tight. And up. Down. And up. Down. And up. And down, and up two more, down, and up last one, down, and up, okay. Little challenge now, we're gonna start with a little march. It's nice and easy. Good, nice and easy. Okay, so we're gonna take a step forward, front, back, together. Front, back, together. Front, back together. Now, this is your option. I want to challenge the bone strength a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of a hop. Hop back together. Just a jump back together. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Jump back together. Jump back together. Tummy in tight. Feel how that leg gets challenged. And front back together. And front back together. Plus, we're getting that heart rate up a little bit. Front Back, one more on each side, front, back together, and pause right here. We're gonna do the same thing out to the side. So we're gonna go out, step, together, switch. Out, step, together. Left, step, together. Right, together. Left, together, right, together. One more here, you can either stay here, I'm gonna add a hop here on this next one. And out, step, together, out, step, together. And up, step together, up, step together, up, step together, good, up, step together, up, step together, up, step together, one more on each side, and then pause, we're going to take it to the back, watch out for your chair, back, front, together, right, back, together, left, back, together, right, back, together, back, together, back, together. Good. Back. All right. See if we can add a little bit of that hop. Jump back together and jump back together and jump back together and jump back together. Again, keep it nice and tall and breathe. Tummy in tight. Back together. Good. Two more on each side. And last one. Back. And last one. Good. All right. Take a big breath in. And out. Good. Let's take your left heel back for me just for a little calf stretch. And hold. Good. Nice and easy. Just hold. Bring the arms up. Hold. Good. And let's bring it all together and switch sides. Opposite heel back. Nice and square here. Abdominals in. Feel that calf stretch there. And arms up and hold. Good. All right, let's do a little bit of balance. We're gonna stand on your left leg. Again, this is where the chair comes in. Typically, you can have it in front of you. I'm just not using it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so stabilize on this leg. Squeeze this glute here. We're gonna lift this leg up, hold it, take it forward, bring it back in, and down. Now we're gonna switch. So balance, leg up, and forward, and in, and switch, and up, and forward, and in, and down, and up, 
and forward, and in, and down. Get a couple more on each side, and then we'll pick up those weights. And down. Out. Good. One more on each side. And up, and forward, in, and down. Last one. Up, and forward, and in, and down. Okay, so we're going to do bicep curls first, and I'm going to combine leg movements or some other movement with an arm movement, okay? Okay. Okay, so here we go. The muscle work we're going to do is your biceps, okay? Then uh, with that, we're going to add a little bit of a lunge. So it's going to look like this. Back, together, and then we switch. Back, together. If you don't want to lunge, you can just do a little step back. That is completely fine. Or you can stay still, okay? There we go. So back, and together, and back, and together. You don't need to go low. You can go as low as you feel like you want to if you want to go down. That makes it a little bit harder. Just make sure that that front knee does not go forward. See? You want to kind of lunge back. Lunge back. Okay? Good. Let's do four more. And four. And three. I keep getting out of the camera. And two. And last one. Okay. Let's take a breather. Let's do some shoulder rolls. Okay. So now we're going to do some shoulder work. Delt weights. We're going to go out to the side, but we're going to do is a little balance at the same time, okay? Again, this is optional. So here's one level. Okay, we're going to do one leg. Bump it up a level. We lift. There's four. And five. Six. Seven. And we're going to switch legs, okay? So here's the top. Right? A little harder. Out. Two. Three. Yeah, four. Two more on this side. And five. And six. Okay, we're gonna go back to the bicep curls. I'm gonna change it just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna do little knee bends and stance, all right? So here we go, a little knee bend, and a stance, and a two, good, oops, and bend, and bend, and bend, and exhale, seven, breathing out, eight, tummy in tight, watch if the knees and toes are lined up, we're almost there, got six more, and up, and two, and three, four, five. Careful not to squeeze your hands too tight. Okay, we're gonna go back to the shoulders and change the legs again. So we went out to the side. This time we're gonna go back, okay? So we're just going back, squeezing in those glutes, all right? So we got eight on each leg, so here we go. Yeah. And press. Two. And three. Four. Five. Watch it. You don't arch the back. Squeeze the glutes. Seven. And we're going to switch the legs here. Back. Back. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. All right, break for the shoulder rolls. Again, you don't need the dumbbells. You can do it freehand. If you want to sit and do these, that's absolutely 
absolutely okay. Your workout, you do what you feel like doing. We're gonna get some triceps in now. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna plie. Okay, we're gonna do one arm at a time. So I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna move back, over my, to my shoulder and then over my head. Okay, so it looks like this. And we're gonna bring it down behind you and then up, okay? As you bring it down, you're gonna bend, bend, and lift, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. Think of squeezing a ball when you come up between your knees. Squeeze those legs together. We got six more. One, and lift. Two. Knees and toes are lined up. And four. And five. And six. Good. Bring that arm to the shoulder. And then down. Let's take a breather. And three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, here we go. Other side. Okay, we got some good leg work going on here. Bring a hand to the shoulder. Arm is up. Here we go. Plie. And one. And two. Squeeze those bums on the way up. Three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, what's six more? You got it. Come on. Now there's only five more. Press. And three. And two. And one. Bring that hand to the shoulder. Okay, bring your feet together. Okay, let's work a little waistline. Okay, we're just going to go down. And up. And down. I'm going to make it a little harder now. Just like the little monkey arms. Keep the hips nice and still. Tummy in tight. Here's three. And three. And four. And four. And five. And five. And six. And six. And six. And seven. And seven. And eight. We're only going to 10, and nine, and 10, and 10. Okay, we're gonna put the dumbbells down. Get your rubber band ready somewhere. And we're gonna do sit to stands in the chair first. Okay, so get in front of your chair. Make sure you're gonna land in it. Okay, and we're gonna have your arms right by your side. Arms come forward, sit your hips back, and just tap, don't land, okay? And then come up, bring the arms, and squeeze the back muscles. So send your bum back, stand, and squeeze. So keep that back nice and straight. You don't want to look like this. Don't bend, okay? Imagine a stick here tied to your back. Sit back on those hips, stand, and straighten. Abdominals are in. Everything is working here. Tap and lift. And tap and lift. Let's go for eight. Again, I'm just giving the number. You don't have to do it. Just do what works for you. I know I didn't lose count. This is four. Four more. And four. And three. And two, and you get to stay down on this one. And slow, 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 slow. Oh, we made it. Okay, let's just do a little side bend stretch. And we're gonna pull. And pull. It's a little different when you start standing. It almost makes the chair stuff a little easier because you're warmed up. And stretch. And pull, one more. All right, other side. Stretch and pull. Again, tummy in nice and tight. 
Try not to strain the shoulders, but lengthen out of the side of the body. And make sure this hip stays down. Hip stays down. Two more. Okay. We're gonna bring this leg out to the side. Make sure you're square. We're gonna go right into the saw, okay? So we're gonna turn, watch if the hips don't move, and we're gonna go down to that pinky toe, reaching across, come back up, and then come center. If it's kind of hard to do out here, you can always put the leg in front like I've done on prior videos, right? This just makes it a little bit harder, okay? So that's up to you. So inhale, exhale, inhale, and center. Let's do three more. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, Breathing out, and tall, and stretch, and lift, and center. Last two, and press, and up, and center. Last one, and press, and up, center, and down. Tight abdominals, pull that leg in, switch to the other side. So when you make that switches, make sure you're not sloppy in here, okay? Use those muscles to stabilize. Okay, let's go to the other side, to the right. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and up. Inhale, exhale, up, and center. Three more, turn, stretch, up. And again, you don't have to go as far down as I'm going. You can reach forward if you want. Okay, last two, front, stretch, up, center, last one. And center, and up, and relax those arms. You're probably a little tired, that's okay. Okay, into the abdominal work. So this is gonna be a little challenging, okay? Well, I'll explain that when we get there. So let's just start with the warm up part. So we're gonna scoot that belly, and roll back, and then roll forward, and again. And roll back, and roll forward. Okay, on the next one, which is optional, so this is gonna be kind of level two of difficulty, we're gonna extend that left leg and roll. Left leg and roll. One more of each of these, and then we're gonna use the arms to grab the knee. So now we're gonna pull that knee into the chest and roll and sit and roll and sit, roll. And sit and scoop in that belly, really pulling that knee in. So make sure this doesn't hurt your back. And roll. So you gotta really scoop that belly. You are getting a little stretch in the back. So scoop, hold tight, and sit. Scoop and nice and wide in those elbows so you feel that upper back stretch. Okay? And scoop and sit. Last one, scoop and sit. Okay, so I'm gonna have you roll back, pick up the left knee, take the right leg forward. Okay, now, beginning level, I'm gonna do here. Down and up, okay? Now I'm gonna do it a little bit harder. That leg is out, float that leg up. Really get to the edge, scoop that belly. So my left leg is, uh, is uh, your right, uh, my right leg is up. Well, it's not my left really, but for you it's your, my right. And we're gonna switch. Now this is difficult. Again, you need to have a lot of abdominal strength and control. I am not resting on the seat. If you choose to rest on the seat like I just did, it'll be a little bit easier, okay? You can also just tap the toe down and down, okay? The leg out there has a lot more weight on the abdominals, okay? So scoop, scoop, and stretch that leg. Stretch that leg, tummy tight, and tight. A few more, and tight, and tight, good. Switch and hold, put that leg down, other leg down, scoop and roll up. Whew, didn't that feel good? All right, hands behind the hip. We're gonna now extend to stretch this out. So we're gonna lift those collarbones up to the ceiling, and then come to neutral, and pause. And lift, chest up to the ceiling, Feel that stretch, tummy in, and down, and up, breathe, 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 and down, two more times, and breathe, 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 
and down. The inhale is on the up, okay? Inhale, inhale, and exhale to relax. Watch the shoulders one more time. Up, 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 and relax. I'm gonna do one more abdominal exercise, okay? For the obliques, right? We're working that wiggling on the waist, okay? And also across the back. All these muscles go around. Well, not in that direction, but they wrap around. Okay, so hands behind the head, right? We're gonna come to that knee, crunch, and then come back up, lift that chest like I just did, okay? Then we come to neutral, and then we crunch to the other side, come out of that, and lift the chest. So I'm gonna turn again so you can see. I'm gonna turn this way this time. So I don't hurt my neck, always looking the wrong way. Okay, so here we go. Crunch, tummy in, and lift. Crunch, and lift, okay? And crunch, again, try not to rest in that seat. And crunch, and lift, and crunch, and inhale, and exhale. Let's do two more on each side, and crunch, and lift, and crunch, and lift, getting some spinal mobility. Feels really good to move. Last one, crunch and lift. Okay, rubber band time. All right, so let's grab your rubber bands. Fix your pants if you need to. Okay. Band goes flat. All right, we work the biceps, we work some shoulders. And we work some triceps. But now we gotta get the muscles in the back, okay? So we're gonna row. So again, you want your feet a little further apart. Take the slack out of the band. If, it, if this feels like it's gonna be too easy, you can just reach down, kind of loop, right, make a little loop. Up nice and straight, and we're just gonna pinch those shoulder blades, and release. And pinch, and release. Good, here's three and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're doing a lot of sixteens today, so we'll get six more, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna twist. So we're gonna take that left arm, look over the left shoulder. Watch that you don't swivel your hips. So stay straight, just look over the shoulder and switch. Over the shoulder and switch. Breathing out. Feel like you're pulling from the rib cage, right? Pull that left rib cage around. So just visualize that rib cage spinning over the hips. And pull. And pull. I forgot to count, but we're not doing 16. Let's do four more on each side, which is, of course, eight if you want to count it that way. Two, and two, and three, and three. Last one, nice and tall, breathing out, breathing out. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's do some lats. So now, lats with the muscles under the shoulder blades, like you see on swimmers, that little V. Okay, so shoulders are down, tummy in tight. Careful you don't pull so far back that your shoulders pop up like this. Only go as far as you can, just slightly behind the line of your hips, and pull the shoulder blades, pull the right shoulder blade towards your left hip, left shoulder blade to your right hip. And press. Good, and press. And press. And press. Yeah, we got eight more. Press. Press. And six. Five. Four. Three. And two. And one. Okay, into a little of the rotator cuff here. Feet come back in. Palms are up. And we're gonna open. And close. 
Now, as you open, don't let the rubber band yank you back in, all right? Control that, and in, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. These are kind of hard, take a break if you need it. Last six, we got it. Breathing out, breathing out helps. Makes the exercise easier. And four, and three, and two, and one. Okay, let's do another tricep exercise because we did the overhead triceps. Now let's do the downstairs triceps. So let's press down. Stabilize, squeeze the back of the arm. Three, and four, and five, Six, seven. Let's alternate little heel taps for the last eight. Great, great. Left and three and four and five, six, seven and eight. All right, other side. Kind of flip your hands around. No slack. But don't make it too tight. And this arm's gonna stay nice and steady. Let's go eight, press it down. Down and up. Two. And three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Here we go. Left heel tap. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Behind the back, we're gonna just pass it through. Gonna put it wherever you feel comfortable. You kinda make sure you're even here. And you may have to make these a little tighter if your band is long. So mine's kinda like right here, cause you wanna, you don't want to start with your arms out front. Okay, so we're doing chest press for the pecs, okay? It's like hugging a redwood. Okay, now I'm gonna add some legs out to the side and switch. And out to the side. So I'm counting the chest presses, not the legs. Here's three. And four. Stay nice and still. Five. And six. And seven. And eight, halfway, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. See, we are multitasking, getting all of it going. Okay, now we're gonna get the band out in front. And we're gonna do overhead lifts. So you wanna be a little bit wider than your body, okay? And shoulders are down. Hold a little bit on the band, and we're just gonna lift up, breathing in, and really kind of pull back with the arms. Watch that you don't end up here. And then come down. A couple more of these, and we're gonna add a little twist. So stretch, stretch, tall, 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 and down and a side bend. So we're gonna hold this one. I just decided to do this. Okay, now keep this distance the same, okay? And we're gonna go over to the side, so we're just moving the spine and come up the same way. Be careful you don't go so far that this hip comes up. You wanna keep that hip down. Watch your picture frames. I call the space, your head in between the arms, your frame. Keep it the same, keep it the same. Arms are straight, it wants to really give out here. And come up, over to the other side. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And come up. And stretch, stretch, stretch. Come up. And if your arms are getting tired, take a break. We're gonna do a few more, but I'm gonna change it here. So we're gonna side bend. Now we're gonna turn to look down at the floor. 
come back out of that side bend and lift up. This feels amazing on the back, other side. Side bend, rotate to look down, keep your picture frame. Side bend and lift. Let's do two more on each side. Side bend, rotate, side bend, and lift. Side bend, rotate, and side bend. One more to each side. Side bend, rotate, side bend, and lift. Last time. We're there. We made it. Side bend. And up. And center. <sighs> okay. Let's drop the bend. And shoulder. And breathe. And three. And four. Five. Six. Seven, alternate left and right. Let the body move. And nice and easy peasy. Just whatever happens, happens. Sometimes it's okay to just let everything go. And let the bones just move. Okay, do some back strokes. And back, and back. And you can look back at your hand. It's a bigger stretch. One more to each side. Good. All right. Big breath in. Exhale. One more time. And exhale. Palms face me. Open the chest back. And relax. Good. Inhale. And relax. Good. And just feel, just get into your body right now. Feel what you've worked, feel like you can move freely here. Get your breath all the way into the ribs. Remember, you don't want to breathe here. Let it come down into here. And exhale, one more time. And exhale, get nice and tall. Bring that head to the shoulder. Lift it up, other side, bring it to the shoulder. And, and to the shoulder. And up, and the shoulder, and up, and shoulder, and up, last one, shoulder, and up. Well, we are finished for today. Once again, I appreciate, Pinnacle appreciates the donations, and I am happy to teach another class. Everybody stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.